let us do some dark blue color grading in Lightroom. As always, feel free to follow along by downloading the raw file from the link in the description of this video. And now let's begin. So this was shot shortly before sunrise and since we are lacking some warmer color tones in the sky, I want to apply some very heavy blue color grading on this shot. First, however, what I want to do is to fix the vertical lines, since especially towards the border of the image, the lines that should be straight are leaning more towards the outside of the image. And that's something we want to fix to make it look more professional. Instead of the basic tab, we want to head into the transform window. And here we can see this vertical slider, which we want to adjust. I'm going to push it a little bit until we get something that looks straight. If you want to be a little more precise, you can also use this tool right here. Just click on the icon and then we are going to drag a line right here on this pole in the water. And I'm also going to drag a line right on the other side of the image on this post. And once we have done this, Lightroom will automatically fix those lines and we will get a nice straight image. Okay, looks so much better, but I do want to bring this whole image down a little bit because the lower part of the image is not that interesting. I want to have more of the sky. So I'm going to use the Y offset and just bring it down a notch right about here. Okay. Now we do have some gaps towards the edge of the image. We are going to crop away a little bit here. Actually, we could slightly rotate this image and then let's apply some cropping. Okay. Okay, I'm going to fill this gap later on, maybe with Photoshop, I don't know yet. For now, however, we have nicely fixed those lines. That means we can continue with the basic adjustments. So as you can see, looking at this program, the exposure is quite dark and we do have some underexposure in fact, actually. So what I want to do to prevent that is to change the profile from Adobe Color to Adobe Neutral. This will push the darkest parts quite a bit and we have some nice details now. I'm going to further bring up the exposure to fix that. Just around here looks good to me. And I also wanna bring down the highlights so we get back details in the clouds. As I said in the intro, I want to make this shot rather dark. So right about here looks good to me. We can further bring up the shadows to restore a bit more details from the darkest parts. And I do want to bring up the whites to add some kind of contrast. In fact, let's also use the contrast slider to push it some more. Okay, I'm quite happy with how this exposure looks so far. I think we can also bring up the texture and then I'm going to bring down the clarity and the dehaze just to add some very, very subtle kind of autumn glow effect on top. And let's bring up the vibrance. I'm going to raise the vibrance quite a bit here since we have used the Adobe Neutral profile and this just lacks a bit of saturation. At this point, you can very clearly see this very strong blue color cast. The goal for this image was to have a very intense blue look, but this is a little bit too much. So I wanna fix that color cast by playing around with the white balance temperature, increasing the warmth and thus reducing the amount of blues in this image. I'm going to raise the temperature quite a bit, but it almost looks neutral right around here. Maybe we can uh, later on in the color grading process introduce some more blues if we want. However, so far this image looks so much better already. What I want to focus on now is the sky and a little bit of foreground. So for that, I wanna use some masking. Let's do this. Open up the masking panel. And right away, let's use a linear gradient to cover the top of the sky like this. I really only want to change the sky, so I wanna click on those three dots and choose Intersect Mask With and choose Select Sky to get rid of the bold poles right here in the center. And now I'm going to create a simple vignetting effect by bringing down the exposure and just make the sky a little more dramatic this way. Wonderful. Let's maybe raise that linear gradient a bit, right about here. Then let's use a linear gradient for the foreground, covering pretty much all of it. And here we wanna introduce some more brightness, so let's bring up the shadows. I'm also going to bring up the blacks 
and the whites. Okay, that looks great. Then what I want to do next is to use a radial gradient right here on the horizon level. And I'm using this to add a bit of glow in here. I'm going to raise the blacks for that. I'm also going to bring down the dehaze for a stronger effect. And I want to bring up the temperature to introduce some colors in this spot. And to make this color visible, we are going to bring up the saturation. Okay, then I also want to work on the midtones. So there's a cool trick for that. I'm going to create a luminance range mask. And at the moment, looking at this thing right here, we can see that everything is selected. We want to filter out the very darkest tones and the very brightest tones. So I'm going to click on that pin right here and I'm going to drag it further to the right. This way we are cutting out the darkest blacks. I'm going to do the same for the highlights. So click the point on the right and drag it down to cut out the highlights. Doing it like this, we get a very hard edge between those mid-tones and the darkest and brightest tones. So what we want to do next is to grab this thing right here and drag it down. This will make the edge of the mask softer. Right about here looks good. Let's do the same for the highlights and make this really, really soft. Okay, one more thing. I only want to target the foreground. So I'm going to say subject, linear gradient, and I'm taking away a part from the upper part of the image. And then let's slightly bring up the exposure. I'm going to drop the shadows to add contrast. And for more contrast, I'm going to increase the whites. Perfect. Now, if we want, we can use this Midtones Luminance Range Mask to fix some more of that blue color cast. Since at the moment, looking at this thing right here, it's still kind of more on the bluer side. So we can slightly increase the temperature, neutralizing the blue color cast in that object. And thus we're just getting some kind of a more natural color balance between the colder tones of the landscape and this thing in the foreground. Now we're almost done with the masking. Let's create one more radial gradient. And I'm holding down the shift key while creating this to create a perfect circle. And I'm placing the circle right above the slide. In here, I'm going to raise the blacks. I'm going to drop the dehaze quite a bit. And then I'm bringing up the temperature, also raising this slider quite heavily and click on the color box right here. Choose some of an orange color tone and bring up the saturation all the way. So with this radial gradient, we just added some very cool glow effect on top of the slide. I want to use the same effect on the other lights in the back. So what I'm going to do is to click on add, choose radial gradient and create a smaller radial gradient in the distance over the other light. Let's repeat that step one more time for the last light, just like this, done. And that's the image after the masking adjustments. Looks so much better. Now let's focus a little more on the color grading. Go ahead, open up the color mix for that. I want to adjust the hue first. What that means is I'm going to use the yellow hue and bring it down all the way. And thus I'm just adding more orange tones to those light sources of the image. That's a personal choice because I think this just looks better. Then let's go into the saturation tab. I'm going to slightly bring down orange, yellow, and I'm also going to drop the blue tones. And at this point, I'm going to use the color grading panel for the split toning, and I'm choosing the mid tones to apply some stronger blue color. For that, we want to set up the hue somewhere around here in the blue color range and bring up the saturation a good bit. Wonderful. That's looking very nice. We can do a little more color grading in the calibration tab. What I like to do in here is to just bring up the saturation of all these color tones. So let's start with red, green, and blue. I'm always going to raise the blue tones a little more than the rest. And I'm also going to bring down the blue primary hue down just a bit because I just personally love this effect on my images. Okay, 
Now we have some really good looking dark blue color graded image. I do think this image could use some vignetting, so let's open up the effects tab and in here let's bring down the vignetting slider. Wonderful. And finally, we can sharpen this image in the details tab, so let's do that. I'm going to bring down the radius, increase the details, add some masking while holding down the Alt key so I can see where the sharpening is applied and then bring up the amount of sharpening. Perfect, done. Now we still wanna clean up this image a little bit and I do think this will be hard to do in the Lightroom. So what I wanna do is to right click on the image, go to edit in and choose Photoshop. And what I'm doing here is I'm going to hold down the control key and click on the thumbnail. This will select the whole image without the gaps. And then I'm going to select, choose modify and I'm going to say contract, let's say two pixels just like this and then I'm hitting Control shift i to invert the selection. And before that step I made that selection smaller just to be safe to really have all of the gaps selected. So that's an important step. Now what I'm doing is I hit Shift F5, choose Content Aware and hit OK. And just like that we fixed those gaps. Let's duplicate that layer by hitting Control J just to have a backup and I'm going to use the spot healing brush. I want to zoom in, clean up some sensor spots, but I also want to clean up a few other things like this tree branch looking in the image. I could also get rid of this line. Okay, I think that's good enough. And so that is the finished image. I hope this little color grading Lightroom tutorial was helpful and interesting. As always, if you have questions left, feel free to ask in the comments and thank you so much for watching this video.